I mean, look at his health go down. I think this does like 300 damage per hit. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Wednesday, we are in North World. And yes, as you can see, there has been a huge update in the last few days, which includes catnap and, uh, well, this stinky little pipe right here. And this actually has some pretty cool stuff to check out, which includes, well, the ability to unlock the normal catnap you have here. The evil catnap or nightmare catnap and also a dog day that looks pretty crazy that I want to showcase. So all we got to do from the spawn is head down this uh, green pipe, which gross. It throws the green gunk all over you and check this out. So I can see there is a tiny little catnap over there. Look at it. It's so adorable. Look at it. What can that even do? It's like... How much health has he got? I can see Sage is running in going, Ah, catnap! And the newbie's going, Oh, it's so cute. Look at this. So this first version of the catnap has 100 health. Now, I can see Sage is saying for it to hug him. Uh, I think we need to be careful because I don't think it's as safe or as friendly as it is cute. And I've just realized I can collect some stuff. Thank you very much. I've unlocked a purple baby. So as it is, I can see people are attacking it. Oh, dear. Oh, it's already turned into an evil cat nap. I'm not even ready. That was way too quick. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to head up the stairs real quick, which actually, this is perfect. As I can see that they've annoyed him and catnap has now become this ginormous, crazy, scary looking thing. So when we defeat him, we can unlock any of these kind of crazy looking smiling critters, including catnap himself. Look at that. That thing is actually pretty crazy. But there's also a chance to unlock a piece of the puzzle of which there are four for each of these characters, which if I go over here are these ones, which for the Nightmare Can app, I'm actually pretty excited to check it out because I know these attack as well as has animations and stuff like that. So my choice to kind of defeat this catnap today is going to be one of my favorites I've unlocked, which is King Kane. This guy does 150 damage and he has the ability to fly. So I got Murple and Sage just chilling out here for the time being. And he says he's going to turn into Santa. I mean, like literally set out. Yeah, no, literally he is blue Santa. And I know his attack is to literally body slam and take everyone out. And oh, okay, a bit like that. So we need to stay away from Sage. He is dangerous. So with that being said, let's go into battle and start throwing some attacks over at Catnap. As you can see, 3,600 and uh, quite a bit of damage or life left. I know I have the ability to float like this, which I think is going to give me a massive advantage. I can see there is a whole bunch of blue swords literally on the floor, and we just need to take this down. So once we defeat Evil Catnap, there will be another stage. And I'm quite keen to see uh, what's next. I don't know if it's going to jump straight to Nightmare Catnap or if we're going to get another stage in between, like maybe... Well, actually, I think it started as the Baby Catnap and it's now currently evil with only 900 health left. It's really going down pretty quick. This is really cool. So, in theory, we should be able to unlock some of these new morphs pretty quick once we take this out. And look at that with 67 health left. It is down yeah that's teamwork we took them out pretty well so it looks like catnap is just having a bit of a nap i suppose you can call him uh well actually it's in his name literally he is a cat that naps so what have we got going on everyone seems to be quite sure at the moment i can see that oh hang on wait are these tiny angry smiling critters is that what's happening they're trying to protect catnap while he's sleeping oh wait look at the blue coins okay we did get the blue coins this is good so I don't know how many of these we got to defeat, but we'll just take them out and see at what point does Catnap transform or even... Oh, look at that. Oh, it's Crafty Corn. Oh, he's so adorable. Look at that thing. Oh, he's so nice. Oh, wait. Hang on. Nightmare Catnap. Okay. Yep. He's gone crazy at this point. We have now got to Nightmare Stage, although it's actually pretty cool. He has, I think, about the same amount of health as he had as uh, the evil Catnap. But the attack he's using at the moment, even though I'm flying and technically have a massive advantage, that attack he's doing right here where he's spitting these into the air is, uh, yeah, it's going to attack me. It's going to basically hit me. It's going to land on me. And I don't have much choice, so I'm going to have to keep running around instead of just chilling while attacking. And look at this. Look at these guys for backup. We've got ourselves some more blue swords. And someone is, in fact, the blue spider. I mean, I don't even know what kind of damage the blue spider does, but I can see Sage has returned as the blue Santa, which actually, as I'm saying this, 
I've noticed a theme here. Everyone is blue from Rainbow Friends in some way or form. I think I'm the only one from the Amazing Digital Circus, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think with me doing 150 damage per attack, and we got Sage as the big old Santa Claus, who does, I believe, 120 damage. I think between us, as well as all the swords doing 25 per strike, I think we take this down pretty quick. And actually, while I'm saying this, look at this. He's only got 300 health left. This thing's going down so fast. And look at this. Is that it? <gasps> Wait, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He just exploded. That's actually kind of creepy. Uh, why is there a puddle of catnap? Literally on the floor. So this is how you unlock a particular drop. Are we about to get a piece of the puzzle? No, but maybe a smiling critter? Oh, check this out. So we got evil Bubbafun. Oh, first piece. I want to check this out. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this, guys. This has got an animation. Look. If you press the Q button, you can open your mouth like you're actually talking. Who would have thought that? That's so cool. Although, why is the attack locked? Oh, so Sage has got Hoppy, Hopscot, and Sir... Okay, actually, I just realized, guys. Where's Catnap gone? you got to win him twice to unlock it. Ah, uh, I don't want to unlock the same thing twice. I want to unlock everything, but not twice. That's going to take ages. Well, let's just head back to... Oh, I see. Look, he's correct. It's almost like newbies read the, uh, the little instructions that basically says there's one of two. So this could take a little while to get them all, but that's not a problem because... The one we really care for is those big catnaps. And that's what I'm going to aim for. So let's go back into my king cane in case the next one comes back in, which I can see. And look at this. Oh, never mind. I think someone just got battered. Who is this over here? It's Guy. Guy literally just battered that kind of adorable little version of catnap and then uh, got yeeted across. But it's okay. We've got evil catnap to fight again. So... I think we need to try and attack this or at least kill it a few times to hopefully unlock uh, the ones that are over here. So as you can see with the drops, literally just here, there's a 10% chance to get these smiling critters that we've now got Bubba Fun just here, the evil version, which is pretty cool. But we actually care for these here and uh, I'm not going to stop until we get those pieces because i want to showcase these guys to you in case they have the ability to attack which i'm going to guess they do but also any animations and emotes and plus we will check out what they're like against himself basically we're going to use them to fight the evil catnap as well so i know i'm using this version to attack with and it does quite a bit of damage but i think this time around i'm going to try and do this without flying. I know, it's crazy. Considering I have the ability to fly, this gives us a huge advantage, but today, or at least this round, I'm not gonna fly. I'm gonna see if I can kill evil, and more importantly, nightmare catnap, while on the floor with everyone else. And I can see that someone has become some crazy green rabid beast wolf thing. I don't even know, what are you? Although actually saying that Quackers has become an orange version of it, they are actually technically wolves. That is what they are. Okay, for the time being, this bit, we need to take out these evil, tiny, smiling critters, which I'm relying heavily on Guy and other people that are able to just, like, attack one target. Because with my attack, it seems to go around them. It's not very helpful. But never mind. At the moment, I... Oh, get out of the red circle. Get out that red circle. So when I attack, I do, like, a little laser beam. Oh, I see. The blue heads come out of the uh, the target, effectively. That's not what I was expecting at all. But but now, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. So I can see that with this... Oh, keep running. Come on, sprint. Why are you not sprinting? Oh, okay. So I've got Sage with me at the moment. He's going in for a massive body slam. And check this out. We are... Uh, oh. <laughs> I think that means we died. We got oofed. Okay, not to worry. Not to worry. We'll head back in. In fact... I know I said I wouldn't, but I, I need I need the uh, advantage. I need to be able to attack him quickly. Is I don't know why, but I feel like Kane, when you're on the floor, doesn't move very fast. I feel like I've got much better advantage when you fly, which is kind of to be expected, if I'm honest. But at this point in time, I'm just going to go and run around and collect the blue coins just while he's spitting out all of this, like, lava. And especially with how quickly I'm probably going to get oofed, but I can see with the health as it is... I'm going to do my part and try and help without getting oofed because check that out. Catnap boss three of a hundred times. That's crazy. 
Is that literally to unlock a potential new morph? Yo, let's open this up. What have we got this time? Okay, so please be something good. Please be something good. Who are we getting exactly, newbie? I got a key and I've unlocked... Yo, evil catnap. Hey, check this out. That's uh, that's actually pretty cool. So I've got this one of, tw one of two times, which means we can become it to run around. Hey, look at this. It looks like Quackers has become my catnap twin. Check this out. Yeah, that's quite creepy, honestly. Yes, they're officially creepy when they're together. It's a uh, it's, it's nice mess stuff. But as we're waiting for the next round, let's get ourselves prepped. Because I think after this one, we might have to end up kind of just grinding to get the uh, puzzle pieces. And then I can come back to you guys to showcase what we've got. Now, I wish I had some more morphs that can attack. But like I say, at the moment, this is my most powerful one I've got. And I think as a little team that we've got with us today, this works really well against this particular catnap. But I've just noticed, even though we've been in this room this whole time, I've not actually seen anything around it. And the fact I can fly, whoop, I've gone the wrong way, means that I have a huge advantage to uh, check things out. So there's an invisible barrier here. Which is a bit of a shame, uh, but obviously. But I can see there's a poster with Kissy Missy on it over there. Uh, these acidic bombs that this guy is dropping is really rude. And uh, it looks like there's a lot of invisible walls. It's almost like they thought of these characters that can fly and won't let me get past or very far. So there's a Huggy Wuggy poster. And if we head over this way, there is an exit. I think that is Return to Spawn. Yes, it is. I don't want to do that. I obviously want to kill Catnap. Uh, which I'm going to do now as uh, as I'm here. Oh, no. <laughs> He's going down quick, but not quick enough, in my opinion. Although, I'm thinking with the guys that are helping with us, they should be unlocking some quite cool new morphs. Because I know some of them are, are using, like, the original blue sword. Uh, some have got these wolves. I don't know how they unlock them. I don't even know if I have them myself. But it's pretty cool that they have got them. And because of this... I think it's that's what's helping with taking these out pretty quick. So, obviously, this is, like, the little break from the main catnap, and you just got to destroy all these tiny little, like, smiling critter army that he seemed to have summoned. And it uh, gives you an opportunity to kind of, you know, recover your health, pick up all the coins that are on the floor. I heard noises, and I don't think they're good noises, but I can see these tiny little smiling critters are running towards us. So, I will just throw my wand at them, and away we go. Now, there's not much else really to look at in this room, Obviously, we have got Evil Catnap right now with 6,000 health. I swear, that was more health than literally the last rounds that we just did. But up here, we have got two times damage, two times coins, and two times luck. Which reminds me, actually, I do have two times damage. So, if we just equip this boost, and it's got half an hour. That should be enough for us to do some double damage to take out this Evil Catnap. Look at the health. Look at it, plumb it. That is a, such an OP item. So in theory, we for half an hour, we have got a an exploding version of Catnap, which actually reminds me, I want to find his head. Look at it. It's over here. Oh, it disappeared before we even got to it. Okay, we got Crafty Corn, an evil version of Crafty Corn. Hey, guys, check this out. Hey, what's in his hand? Yeah. Uh, that looks like it's sharp and not very friendly. So Sage is saying, Crafty Corn has ripped off their horn. Ah, that makes sense. That is exactly what it is. That's what Crafty Corn is holding. Yeesh. Why not? Why not just keep it attached? Could have just, like, given it a good head, but... Oh, no. Okay, so the baby cat naps here straight into evil, and I've just got yeeted away. I am currently the wrong more for this. So, guys, let's just smash through this and see if we can get ourselves... The, uh, the ones we really care for at this point in time to be able to showcase what we need. Okay, guys, so we are now back by that. I mean, we have been absolutely dominating Catnap over and over again. I finally unlocked the three creatures. And you know what? By that, I mean, obviously, Dog Day and the two versions of Catnap. I'm going to return to the surface so we can have a quick look at them. Because once we do that, I've been told, or at least I've read, that they can attack and obviously, that means we need to attack Catnap with himself. Obviously, because that, that makes sense. So this is Dog Day. Again, looking pretty cool. I, I gotta say, so you had to find three pieces for this one. And honestly, oh, wow. Okay, so if you press Q, you've got this really cool dart technique, which 
You can use it very often, which is pretty cool. And you leap absolutely miles. Look at this. You go so far. Oh, wow. This can be really useful trying to find uh, badges or just chests around the map. If they're like a long jump and you don't want to get the bridge, well, you can just jump across like that. That's actually super cool. Now, I can see if we press shift, we run normally, which is, you know, quite normal. That's good. But if we press E, apparently it does something. Okay. So it kind of... Yeah, it kind of spits out... It looks like, I assume, bones? Or is that... I, I really... I don't... I think that's what it is. I think it's literally spitting out bones at people. And that does a whole, I think, 100 damage. If I just check this out. Yeah, it does a whole 100 damage. I can see that Sage was saying that this version of Dog Day is jacked. I mean, he does look like he's been working out a little bit, which is something I wasn't expecting from Dog Day. But this is one of the three badge ones that you can unlock by getting all the puzzle pieces. So let's head to the next one, which is Scary Catnap. And I can see this one is actually pretty lucky. Not only has it got the ability to dart, it has two separate attacks. If we do Q... Exactly the same as Dog Day, and oh boy, I've just leapt into the portal. I did not want to go through there. Nope, no siree. So now we're back into here. So we did the uh, the leap like so, which is very helpful. And in fact, while we're fighting Catnap, that's going to be a massive advantage to get out of the way of his attacks. Like those like, yeah, literally the lava and the gas ones that he does that come down as balls like from the sky. And uh, someone is saying, Father? Ow, I see why. I got it. I got it. Look, it's a tiny little catnap, like the tiny baby evil catnap. And uh, we've got the uh, the big catnap here. Clearly, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> Wait, what? Someone's turning to green pickaxe and is pickaxing the baby uh, catnap. Oh, man. Why is it all being so evil? Oh, no. He literally got oofed by him. Oh, that's so bad. Wait, hang on. We've got two attacks. We can check what happens. Wait, where's he going? He's saying, haha, not today. Guy, come back here. You can be the showcase of this attack. Look at him trying to run. He's now stuck against the wall. Look, he's shaking. He's so scared. Oh, this is good. Okay, so I can see. He's saying, get him, dad. And wait, hang on. He's, he's literally turned into poop. Literal poop because he's that scared. Well, let's see what this attack does. Oh, okay. It's a bit of acid and check that out. It took out guys. It's almost a bit like revenge for Sage, which is for the baby cat now. But... We have got another attack as well, which is this one here. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that's like a really big, like, acid bomb. That's not cool. Why did they get oofed? I thought they'd be safe from this. Maybe they've got PvP turned on. Oh, I don't know. Wait, what? Would he hurt a dog cancelling? I know this catnap won't, but maybe... Just maybe the last one we need to check out, which is this crazy looking cat. Now, look at this thing. Is it terrifying? Yes, it is. And more importantly, we do have the ability to like dart really quickly like the other two, which I still am a massive fan of. This is such a useful thing in this game. Murple is actually a spring and it is... Legit, it works. <laughs> Although I don't go as far. Oh dear, oh dear. Where's he going? He got yeeted. He literally glitched out. So we've got two attacks to check out. So the first one is... Oh, okay. So I think these are both identical to the other version we had. But it's just the red kind of mist instead of the acid one. So now we've checked out all three. And yes, they are definitely worth unlocking if you haven't done so already. 100% you've got to do it. These are so cool. I'm going to become Nightmare Cat. And with everyone else's help, I would like to try and take down Catnap just once more to see how we do and if it's even easier. Because how much damage does this one do? I've still got double damage on right now. And uh, behind my big fat head, you can see this one at the top is 240 damage. And the one below it, which I can't move out of the way, is 150. There you go. You can see it now. So this does loads of damage. Let's check it out. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. In. Let's do this. Let's do this. So we go into Catnap's little base. I can see it's already Nightmare Catnap. And uh, let's see how effective I am towards him at the moment. It doesn't seem very much, but let's just see. Oh, check that. His health is going down so quick. So let's just do this again. I like the fact there's no cooldown. None at all. And I forgot I could dart out of the way of all of this stuff. This is like the ultimate morph. Like literally, this version of Catnap or even the other one which we saw, which is uh, Scary Catnap. They're both very effective. I didn't mean to do that. 
That was really stupid to just dart into him. Why would I do that? I don't even know. But let's throw another one of these at him and see how much damage it does. And also another one of these because, um, yep, it's super effective. I mean, look at its health go down. I think this does like 300 damage per hit because it's double. And the one that does 300 damage is actually going to do 600. So if I do that, that should do an astronomical amount of damage. And look, look at that. I may be losing health and dying. But the most important thing is, is we managed to take him out as this version, which is just super OP. And what's actually pretty cool is the fact that if we ever need to fight another boss, I think I've got the morphs that I'm going to use to be able to make it. And look at that, we've unlocked Picky Piggy as well. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe if you've done so many, it's super appreciated. And we will catch you in the next video. Remember to boot the snoot.